Hey guys, it's Allie and Bree, and we are going to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions about the Casey Reese dance team. So keep watching, um, and let's go. So the first commonly asked question is, who are you guys? What do you do? You know, stuff like that. Um, so for starters, we are known as the Casey Roos dance team. Um, you know, this year has been a major transitional year for all of us. Um, we have, you know, new coaches, new teams, new branding, new names, like everything right now is so new. Um, and what's really exciting is that we get to be a part of creating those traditions and, you know, making school spirit. And there's just so many new things right now that we're working on. So that's something that is really important to us and that we really love being a part of. We really value positivity and hard work just as much as we value technique. This is because we only practice two times a week for three hours each practice. So when we get in, we know that we need to remain positive, remain focused, and just get what we need to get done, finished and out of the way. So the next question that we have is expectations here on the team. Um, we are student athletes, so that means that we have to prioritize school. Um, to be on this team, you have to maintain a 2.0 cumulative GPA and be enrolled in at least six credit hours, which is part-time. Additionally, as team members, um, we have to you know, take our role as a dance team member, um, similarly to a job here for the university. So no matter if we're in uniform or out of uniform, you have to you know, always be sportsmanlike and just you know, be ready to represent the university in any way possible. During our season, we get to perform at many different events. Um, for UMKC, we perform at some soccer games, but mainly our focus is on men and women's home basketball games. We'll perform at every single one, and they're a lot of fun. The common question that we get asked a lot is about athletics and scholarships. Um, and so for starters, we are part of athletics. We are considered student athletes, um, which means that we get all the benefits, such as um, a trainer, academic tutoring among many other things so as student athletes we do get a scholarship um, we get $1,500 and that's split between two semesters as a returning member or a team captain you do have the opportunity to increase that amount um, as you continue you know doing the team so yes we do get scholarships um, it's great <laughs> we also get to perform at things that are not associated with UMKC like we got to perform at the KC um, pep rally for the Chiefs, and then we got to perform at the Super Bowl watch party at Power and Light, which was extremely exciting and very unique to our team. So going back on money and like costs, a um, really, really common question that we have is how much does it cost to be on this team? The scholarship that we receive, it goes towards our tuition, um, but the university does pay for camp, um, so it's completely free. Um, additionally, the university does pay for our warm-ups, our team shoes, our team backpacks, um, as well as our uniforms um, that we use during games and stuff. As for nationals, the university does not currently cover um, our fees for that, so we do have to fundraise throughout the year in order to pay for choreography, registration, costuming, lights and anything else that you know is needed for nationals we get to dance many different styles throughout our season um for games and events we usually dance hip-hop palm or jazz and then we actually do compete at nationals we compete at nba nationals and we compete in the jazz division right now so one last thing that i wanted to address was actually about the demographic of our team um, we are actually not all comprised of dance majors. There are actually a lot of us, like myself, that are biology majors, chemistry majors, science, nursing, business, like we're literally everywhere. Besides that, a lot of us are actually not in the Kansas City area. A lot of us do live out of town. Um, so when it comes to games during breaks, um, we do have ways that the in-town people will participate in those games. Um, but if you do want to be on a game during break, you are always more than welcome to join, you know, a game during that time. So thank you so much for watching. We hope that this helped you out um, and answered any questions that you might have. But if you do have any more, you can always DM us on Instagram or email our coach. Um, so we look forward to seeing you, you know, on the team. Um, best of luck with auditions. You got this. Rue up.